Shurpanakha was Ravana's sister. Shurpanakha went to Lanka and wailed before Ravana, narrating the story of her humiliation. She also told him about Sita's beauty. Anger welled up in Ravana. Hearing her description of Sita's beauty, an evil thought entered his mind that he should abduct Sita. Ravana thought of many ways and finally decided to seek the assistance of Maricha, who was his relative. Maricha, Ram and Lakshman should be lured away from the hermitage. Maricha assumed the guise of a lovely golden deer and roamed around in front of Sita. Look at that beautiful deer. If we can catch it, it will become a source of pride in Ayodhya. That is not a real deer. It looks artificial. Don't get fooled by the Rakshasa's tricks. But Rama wanted to fulfill Sita's desire and he proceeded to follow the golden deer. In pursuit, it took him far away from their hermitage. Finally, tired and angry, Rama struck it with an arrow. As he lay dying, Maricha cried out in Rama's voice, Help me, Lakshmana! Sita! Help me, Sita! Lakshmana, what is this loud cry? Something is wrong. Please go and search for your brother. He must be in danger. My brother is the protector of the world. What danger can affect him? There is no need for me to go to his aid. These are all Rakshasa's tricks. How can you ignore your brother's cries for help? When your elder brother is facing danger, you are wasting time here. I do not approve of your actions. You are like a mother to me. I will draw a line. Until we return, please do not cross the line at any cost. Meanwhile, a sannyasi arrived at Rama's hut. Who are you? Such a beautiful damsel, staying in this jungle alone, suffering through such misery. Can you spare me some food? Sita brought food and served him. I cannot accept the food if you serve it from inside that line. I cannot come out, Guru. Please accept the food. I don't want your food. You are insulting me. Finally, Sita decided to step out of the line. At that moment, eagles began flying overhead and the sannyasi took the form of Ravana. He viciously dragged Sita by her hair and took her into his chariot. Jatayu, who was sleeping on top of a tree, awoke when he heard Sita's cries. He immediately jumped forward and attacked Ravana's chariot
Ravana lashed at Jatayu and cut off his wings. Carrying Sita, Ravana flew to the skies towards Lanka.